Hi, fashion historians. We had a really good week, our first week, of getting introduced to what we're going to study in my time machine, taking us back about 5,000 years of fashion history. One of our projects uh, that we'll be doing toward the end of course, when we've learned everything we can learn about the times and eras of fashion, um, is a small mini project. And this small mini project is embedded in your module, your last module. And it's um, something where you'll be showing about five or six frames in a PowerPoint. Um, I'm asking you, or I'm giving you the challenge to create a new and different museum project or museum exhibition. We've been, what, four or five months now out of museums. We haven't been allowed in. And so this is getting you excited about going back to the museum someday by creating your own idea of what an exhibition can be. And I love this project because uh, fashion has become the largest fundraiser for museums. So when the Metropolitan Museum in New York holds their fashion gala, that raises almost $15 million in one night for um, their costume collection. And they're constantly buying new pieces to add to what they have so that they can at any given time um, open their exhibition with a complete um, selection of garments from a particular era. So I want to show you that it doesn't always have to be about historic garments. It might be about historic magazines that represent garments. And I start off with this one because a student um, took kind of the history of Vogue and created an entire exhibition within a museum. And it doesn't have to be our museum. It can be named after you. Um, but it's just showing that um, Fashion is important out there because today fashion is the universal language. The same student in Shanghai is wearing what the student in Tempe, Arizona or Mesa, Arizona is wearing today. So that language is the same and anybody could come to this exhibit and know exactly what we are showing, except maybe my husband who doesn't like fashion. So here we go, start off with this particular um, project. Again, these are going to be done in PowerPoint, so each of these could become a frame. Um, but all you're doing is showing some examples. I think, I believe I asked for five uh, portrayals of your exhibition. This happens to be Annie Leibovitz, who's one of the foremost fashion photographers, along with uh, other, other genre that she works in. But fashion is her foremost medium. And you can see from Michelle Obama to the Queen, we have um, definitely, she has been a leader in fashion photography. So you're not exhibiting garments, you're actually exhibiting her uh, pictures of uh, fashion garments that are out there. This storyboard is really a traditional look at a fashion exhibition. And this student shows Jackie Kennedy during the Camelot years um, when her husband was president of the United States and all of the clothing that she wore to different events. She was able to pull these garments from our library and art store. So know that that is always um, an area that you can um, acquire images for without worry about copyright. And then also our Berg Fashion History Library, you are able to pull images from without any problem. And they are meant for you as a student to be able to use in your work. So this is just about Jackie Kennedy and we have had many exhibits um, about her garments. A quick one here on Vivian Westwood. And although you're, we're not in person and you can't appreciate uh, the fabric behind here, but the student used kind of a leather naga hide if we think of Vivian Westwood and punk style and her rebellion uh, starting in the 60s and to today, very much to today, um, Vivian Westwood, an exhibition on her would probably, I'm sure, include lots of leather. So you can see here uh, the student carried that theme through. Um, but a very, very important exhibition uh, to cultural and historical study here um, in our modern world. The last one I'm going to show is, at, this was actually done by an online student and she was online in our regular course, 
um, two years ago, and she brought me this. And I'm glad that I have it to show because she actually took a picture of this and put it in her PowerPoint. And she was doing um, an exhibition here on, what do you think, the 1960s, really 1965, the emergence of Modrian paintings in go, -Go Boots and Mary Quant and the um, topless bikini by Rudi Gernrich. So lots of things really um, pushing the envelope when it comes to fashion and new styles. Uh, I think that's what we're going to see emerging after our uh, pandemic, that we will be able to see um, a whole new interest in fashion. And here's our students' view of their exhibition.